The first Tejas Mark II prototype will roll out by end of 2025, and it is expected to conduct its first flight in the first quarter of 2026, and four prototypes will be built by 2027. Turkey is planning to give large-scale military aid package to Bangladesh, and the initial batch will consist of multiple launch rocket systems and howitzers. The DRDO chief has said that it takes 10 to 15 years to develop a new fifth-generation fighter platform, and as the AMCA fighter journey has started in 2024 with CCS clearance, the AMCA is expected to be delivered by 2035. The DRDO chief has said that the VLSR SAM and VSHORAD system will be inducted within the next six months to one year. Retired Air Commodore S.P. Singh has said that the time has come for India to pivot toward privatization to accelerate and enhance its fighter jet manufacturing capabilities, as HAL's track record is marred by delays, cost overruns and an inability to meet the growing demands. Hindustan Shipyard Limited has successfully completed diving system trials on its Nistar Advanced Diving Support Vessel. Indian firms like Ida Forge Zen Technologies and Tanbo Imaging participated in a defense expo in Tanzania. The armies of India and Uzbekistan have started joint military exercise Duslik 2025 in Pune. Russian S-400 system has shot down a Ukrainian F-16 fighter jet during a combat mission. The DRDO chief has said that a deal with a foreign original equipment manufacturer for the co-development of a 130 kN 6th generation jet engine for the AMCA program will be finalized within the next two to three months. It will incorporate advanced features like variable cycle technology, that are still under development in the United States, UK and France, and this decision to leapfrog fifth generation jet engine has sparked debate, as some experts argue that mastering fifth generation technology first would ensure reliability, while others said that sixth generation jet engine aligns the AMCA with future threats. JCBL Group has signed India's first defense MOU with Slovakia, to develop technologies for next-generation combat vehicles. JCBL Group will be responsible for developing and manufacturing critical subsystems for light tanks future-ready combat vehicles and future infantry combat vehicles, that will include turrets, active protection systems, remote-controlled weapon systems and human-machine interface modules, and all production will be carried out in India. The audio officials have confirmed that work on a full-fledged electromagnetic aircraft launch system is underway, as the Indian Navy has expressed keen interest in a system capable of launching 30-ton fighter jets from aircraft carriers. The current focus is on small-scale UAV launches that will validate the technology, which will later be scaled up significantly to handle the energy demands of launching a 30-ton aircraft. Today's top 3 comments.